Amen. Alleluia. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, alleluia. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Alleluia. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Alleluia. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Alleluia. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, Alleluia. Hey, me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Alleluia. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Alleluia. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hey. Alleluia. Thank you, Jesus. Thank the Lord tonight for the gift of life. We have so many things to thank the Lord about. Amen. Let us invite him each and own ways. Thank him. We can't even thank him enough. So let us appreciate him tonight. Amen. Let us pray. Our divine Father, I want to thank you this evening for gathering us in this manner. Lord, we have got so many things to thank you about, oh God. Lord, we thank you about the roof above us, oh God. Thank you about the clothes you are putting on, oh God. Thank you about the food, dear Father. Thank you for the gift of life, oh God. Thank you for the families you have given us, oh God. Thank you for revealing thyself to us in a special way, Lord. We can see the light of the day. Father God, we can't even thank you enough, almighty God. But tonight we have come, almighty God, just to thank you, Father. To say thank you, almighty God. To accept, almighty God, what you have done for us in the cruel of the Calvary. Lord, you died for us, almighty God. You paid that debt to our Lord, which you didn't even owe. We owe this debt, almighty God. And we couldn't pay it, Father. Lord, we want to thank you tonight that we are free, almighty God, because you paid that price, O Lord. Now we can call ourselves sons and daughters of God. We want to thank you tonight, Father. Lord, may you visit us again, Lord, in a special way. Lord, we are in need of people, Father. We need more of you, almighty God. More and more, Lord Jesus. More of us, almighty God. In the stage of a perfect man, may you forgive us our past sins, almighty God. All our iniquities under the blood. May we end at the time of worship, O oh God. The spirit of worship be tonight, O oh God. Lord, we are expecting, Father, to have an encounter with you tonight. We are expecting, Almighty God, for you to speak to our hearts, O oh God. In a special way, Lord Jesus, we didn't come to see one another, Lord. We have come to meet up with you. The King of kings, the Lord of lords, we worship you tonight, O oh God. We worship you, Lord Jesus. May you come in a special way, Lord Jesus. We want to see you, Lord. We want to see you, Lord. We want to see you, Lord, mighty God. We want to thank you. We want to thank you tonight, Father. We want to thank you. May you get all the glory and honor given to your holy name. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, my Savior. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We can't even thank him enough. There are so many things to think about. Amen. Hallelujah. I greet you all in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. We have come to worship him. We have come to thank him. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Blessing. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. 
Amen. Hallelujah. I know it was the blood. Yes, I know it was the blood. I know, I know it was the blood for me. Yes, one day when I was low, he died upon the cross. Yes, I know it was the blood. Father, lay the fire for Yes, Father, lay the fire for Yes, lay the fire for Lay the fire for Lay the fire for the fire Father, lay the fire for The fire Lay the fire for Father, lay the fire for Lay the fire for Lay the fire for Lay the fire for the fire Father, let the fire, fire fall. Father, let the fire fall. Yeah, let the fire fall. Let the fire fall. Let the fire fall. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, let's talk about Jesus. King of King is he, the Lord of Lords Supreme, throughout eternity, the greater in the way, the truth, the life, the God. Let's talk about Jesus and more. Let's talk about him. Lord, it's good to talk about him. He will always come down. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm gonna stay right under his blood. I ride under his blood. I'm gonna stay right under his blood. With the devil, do me no harm. I'm gonna.
gonna stay, I gonna stay. Under his bar, I gonna stay. Under his bar, I gonna stay. Under his blood, where the devil do me no harm, no harm, no harm. I'm no harm, no harm. I'm no harm, no harm. of the Lord. Stay under the blood, my brother. Yay, amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I sing glory to his name. Hallelujah. Down at the cross where my Savior died. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Down at the cross where my Savior died. For cleansing from sin, I cried. Oh, then to my heart, what a blood I'm singing, glory to
Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, my Lord. Amen. I feel so good. Amen. Because the price has been paid. Amen. There is no reason for you to be sad, my brother, my sister. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. They see my heavenly home is bright and fair. I feel like traveling on. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's sing the songs, my brother and my sister, with the meaning, with the understanding. Amen. Hallelujah. My heavenly home is bright and fair. I feel like traveling on. Oh, yes. Yes, I feel like traveling. Yes, I feel like traveling. Oh, my heavenly home is bright and I feel like it's glittering towers are sun now shine. I feel like traveling. Oh, that heavenly man shall be my night. Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's sing close to thee, close to thee. Thou art my everlasting portion, more than a friend or life to me. Amen. Hallelujah. Thou my everlasting portion, more than friend or life to me. Oh, my pilgrim journey, save your land, save your land, be walk with thee, my Lord, lost to thee, lost to thee, lost to thee, lost to thee, to the Lord, my pilgrim journey. Okay. 
to him. Hallelujah. Amen. As we, as we invite the pastor, let's sing near the cross, near the cross. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Jesus, give me the cross. Amen. If you want to stay near the cross where the devil does no harm. Amen. Jesus, give me near the cross there. Amen. I think it's a bit lower. Just give us a bit, a bit higher. Jesus came. Just raise up your hand, my brother, my sister. Accept the job that's done on Calvary for you. Oh, there songs of Zion that have gone forth. Lord, we are, we are longing for fellowship with you. 
We are longing to be in thy house. We are longing to be in thy presence. We are longing, Father, for that day of sweet release. And we are hoping in the finished work at Calvary, in the finished work at the cross, Lord, we were reconciled back to you. And we are longing for the day of sweet release when we shall leave this earth, Lord, and be with you throughout eternity, world without end. Lord, as we prepare even tonight, be with us again as the word is going to come forth, Lord. Bless the minister, bless the sermon, bless those that shall hear. May we be prepared, may we be drawn closer to you. May we be ready, Lord, Lord God Almighty, each one ready to meet with you, each one ready, ready to leave this earth, Lord. We look up to you this evening, have your own way, take control of the meeting, may you get the glory and the honor and the praise. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We are happy. How many are happy to be in the house of God? Hallelujah. David said, I was happy when they say, let us go to the house of the Lord. Amen. We are happy to be here. I'm sure there's no new people to be introduced tonight. We are the local people. Amen. So we want to appreciate the brothers and sisters who came to clean the church. I want to just appreciate the brothers from London, who from Milton King's brother Benjamin Gondora, brother Glory Sibanda, and brother Paddington, who came all the way from Milton King's to be here on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. How many saw the difference at the front of the church? Amen. They did an excellent job. They worked like the three, four times more their normal size. They painted that wall in one day, just outside. The first day they were just plastering and fixing the holes, plastering and building. And then Wednesday they started in the morning just painting. I got some lunch for them, knowing that they had breakfast. I bought some lunch for them. Lunch time about one, two o'clock. I said, brothers, come, your food is here. Come and he says, no, no, no. We didn't come for food here. We eat after we finish. <laughs> they work right through until 10 p.m. <laughs> and they finished. It's amazing what people can do when they're anointed. Amen. So I want to really appreciate the brothers who came. I also want to thank also the local brothers who were here to help. Brother Arson, Brother Alfred, Brother Bofu, and the other brothers who came to help. God bless you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and the sisters that came yesterday to clean, God bless you. All the sisters that have been helping, cleaning, God bless you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Amen. So tomorrow we ask again brothers to come, we want to clean the outside, remove the paint on the pavement and clean the, this side of the building outside as much as we can. From 10.30 to 12.30, two hour shifts for those who are strong and able and are free, you can just come and clean it because we are starting revival meeting starting Monday. So we have had, we are having some international brothers, ministers coming to help us. On Monday, we have Pastor Philemon Aloti, all the way from uh, Ghana, Hallelujah. He will start the ball rolling on Monday, preaching to us. And on Tuesday, we're having Pastor Robert Champande all the way from Malawi. He will preach on Tuesday and Wednesday. And Thursday, we have again Pastor Philemon Aloti preach for us on Thursday. And on Friday, we have our elder and apostle from Zimbabwe, Pastor Godwin Chitsinde. He will minister to us on Friday, and he with Brother Philemon Alote on Saturday on the dedication. Pastor Chitsinde will lead the proceedings on the dedication on Saturday. And I think again on Sunday we'll have Pastor Chitsinde. So that's the arrangement, but anything can change. If the fire burns, we may have more meetings. We may have all night meetings. We'll say, let the spirit have his own way. Amen. So tonight also, we are starting. The fire is beginning to burn. We have our pastor all the way from 
Lagos Pastor Abraham Ogome is going to minister for us tonight from Nigeria. And he'll minister to us again on Sunday. Amen. So we are starting fire in this place. We can't clean this place for nothing. We can't be cleaning this place for nothing. We are preparing for a meeting. A meeting with the supernatural. And an encounter with the supernatural. We want at the end of the meetings everybody to go home limping. Like Jacob. Like Jacob. After I had an encounter with the angel all night, he went back limping. Amen. Limping. He had had a meeting with the supernatural. If nothing happens to you today, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I am sure by the time we reach Sunday next week, something would have happened. I have no doubt in my heart that God gave us this church for a reason. There's going to be a revival of fire in Doncaster. There's going to be a revive, revival of fire in this church. There's going to be a revival starting in this place which will spread elsewhere. There's going to be people saved in this city. I believe something is fixing to happen. I am ready for it. How many are ready? I am ready to go all the way. I am ready to go all the way. I am ready to go all the way. Amen. If it means the Holy Ghost slays me and I'll sleep here all night prostrate, I am ready for that. Hallelujah. I am ready for long meetings. I am ready for a long time of prayer. I am ready for a revival. I've been coming in this church for the past two months every day, Monday to Friday. I've been standing on the door of this church with a placard, Jesus is coming soon. And I'm sure God is going to visit us. God is going to visit us in this church. Just be ready. Amen. So as an appetizer before the minister comes, let me read you a scripture. I want to say, friends, it's time for you to get your birth right. Time for you to receive the Holy Ghost. In this meeting, whatever it is, we need each one to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. We want the birth right, the church of the firstborn. Paul says we are the church of the firstborn. And every firstborn had a double blessing. The blessing came to the isn't this mic too loud? Is it? I can hear myself. Isn't it too loud? Is it okay? Okay, all right. We don't want to blast your ears. Sometimes the young people put the volume a little bit. Uh, so we need to lower it down. Amen. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. I'm just going to read to you. Uh, yeah, it's on the platform. It's on the screen. Lest there be any fornicator. We don't want any fornicators here or people who are committing adultery. Or profane person or somebody using substance, smoking, drinking, and doing wrong things. As an Esau, we want such people to repent. Let them come and then repent. As Esau, who for one most of meat sold his birthright. For you know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. Friends, the right of the Holy Ghost is yours. If you have repented and become a Christian, you have got a right to receive the Holy Ghost. Let nobody trick you to lose your, to lose your birthright. Let no one, the Bible says like Esau. Let me just read the, a little bit of the story of Esau. You know the story, just five minutes. Genesis chapter 25. These were two brothers born twins. Esau came out first and Jacob came out second. But the right of the firstborn was Esau. But he despised his birthright. It's like a Christian who is born again, who has come to church, repented with sins, be baptized, but he refuses the Holy Ghost. Then he says, what, are the, what is the Holy Ghost? I don't need it. I've got the Bible. I believe the Bible. You are an Esau. Despising the right of the firstborn. Despising the birthright. The Holy Ghost is your birthright. Now here, Genesis 25, verse 27, the Bible says, And the boys grew. That's Esau and Jacob. You remember the story? When they were still in their mother's womb, they were fighting. 
They were fighting until the mother says, Oh, something's happening in my tummy. Let me go and inquire of the Lord. And she went and entreated the Lord. And the Lord said, Yes, there is war in your womb. There are two nations there. But when they are born, the elder shall, shall save the younger. In other words, the right of the birthright shall move from the elder one, which was Esau, to Jacob. And she was told that before they were even born. The Bible says, and the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was, was a plain man dwelling in tents. And Esau loved, uh, and Isaac loved Esau because he did eat of his venison, but Rebekah loved Jacob. Hey, that's a split in the house. Two twins born, the elder born is loved with the father, the younger one is loved with the mother. The young man, the elder one was a real man, he was a hairy, and he was a wild man, he would go hunt and kill animals and bring me to his father, and his father loved it. This boy is a mighty hunter, but the other one was playing. He would play with mama, wash the dishes, wash the place, and that was Jacob. And Jacob, <coughs> and Jacob sowed potters, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. In other words, Jacob, being a friend of the mother, she was, he was cooking in the kitchen. Esau came from the field hunting, and he was faint, he was hungry. And Esau said to Jacob, feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. Edom means red. Uh, so Esau said, feed me with that pottage, what you have cooked. I am hungry. And Jacob said, sell me this day thy birthright. In other words, give me the right to, to a double blessing. Give me the right to be blessed, to take the inheritance from you because you are an elder brother. He says, I'll give you the pottage. I've made some beautiful pottage here. Good soup. Maybe it was really smelling nice. He says, give me the birthright. Sell me. And Esau said, behold, I am at the point to die. What profit shall this birthright do to me? He said, I'm ready to die now. What is better? I, I, otherwise, I'm dying of hunger. Let me sell. And Jacob said, swear to me this day. And he swore unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Brother, sister, don't sell your birthright. Because of a job, because of hunger, because you've got no money in your pocket. Maintain your birthright. This man thought he was joking. He swore. And he sold his birthright, and he was given pottage. And Jacob says, yes, it's mine. You have already sworn to me. Maybe you are told, swear by the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And he swore. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, beans. And he did eat and drink and rose up and went his way. And the Bible says, thus Esau despised his birthright. Thus Brother, don't mock if the Holy Ghost moves here. Yes, somebody may be acting different. Somebody may be screaming. Somebody may be jumping. Somebody may be rolling on the floor. Don't you mock. Don't you say nothing wrong. Because you may despise your birthright. Because God may be wanting to do the same to you. And if you despise it, the Holy Ghost leave you. That little act, the Bible says, thus Esau despised his birthright. Now, Genesis 27, as I finish uh, my little exhortation, and he came near, it now, it was now the time of passing the birthright, the blessing now. Uh, I've just jumped in. Isaac now was old. These boys, they did it while they were still young. They saw the, this portrait, they did it privately without the parents. But now it came to a time when the birthright blessing was going to be pronounced. Isaac was about to die, and the mother heard it, that the blessing is now going to go to Esau, and the mother said, no, 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 no. The birthright is Jacob's. So the mother schemed the scheme. The boy says, mother, if I am caught doing this, I am like my father. He says, let the case come upon me. The mother says, I don't want the blessing to go to Esau. He's already married to Hittite women, and they are grieved to me and my, and my husband. I want the better to you so that you go to Laban, my brother, in Syria, and get a wife from his daughters. 
Now, let me just read that. And Genesis chapter 20, and the, he came near and kissed him, and he smelled the smell of his raiment and blessed him and said, See, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Lord has blessed. Now Jacob was being blessed. Therefore, God give thee the Jew of heaven and the fatness of the earth. The fatness of the earth is oil and plenty of corn and wine. Let people serve thee and nations bow down to thee. Be Lord over thy brethren and let thy mother's sons bow down to thee. Curse be everyone that curseth thee. And blessed be, the, be he that blesseth thee. The blessing was being pronounced on Jacob. And Esau was still hunting for me to come to be blessed. Then Esau came back, verse 38. And Esau came unto his father, Hast thou but one blessing, my father? Bless me, even me also, O my father. And Esau lifted up his voice and wept. The blessing, he had already despised it long ago. And it was taken. He was now weeping. And Esau said, Father, uh, as I, his fa and his, Isaac, his father, answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the Jew of heaven from above. So he also blessed him. He says, You also have the fatness of the earth, which is oil. And you know, all the Arab nations there on the east, they have got lots of oil. They feed on the oil. And by thy sword shall thou live and shall save thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. neck. And Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him. And Esau said in his heart, this, the days of mourning for my father are at hand. Then will I slay my brother Jacob. You see, this hatred we see Israel and Hamas is started long back. Somebody was blessed. And the other one, this started Cain and Abel. When Abel's sacrifice was uh, right, Cain uh, uh, sacrifice was rejected. They started hatred. They killed brother. Brother uh, Cain killed his brother. Esau wanted to kill Jacob. Hamas wanted to kill Israel because of the blessing. Right now, it's still continuing. Anyway, friends, this week, starting tonight, seek your birthright. I want to ask you, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? I'm starting with the music. You won't go to heaven by playing. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? You don't go to heaven because you are saying amen and singing loudly. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Those who are controlling there, you don't go to heaven by controlling the, uh, the PA system there. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? You don't receive that. You don't go to heaven because you've been a deacon or officer. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? You don't receive. You don't go to heaven because you are preaching. Preaching is just a gift. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? If not, let this meeting starting tonight. Say, Lord, I want my birthright. I want my token. I want to receive that representation in my heart that I know I'm rapture bound. I want to know that when the trumpet of God shall sound and the dead in Christ shall rise, I will rise up again with them. I want to be 100% sure I have my birthright. I have my ticket. I have my passport. I have my visa for the rapture. I am ready to go anytime. I am ready to go anytime. I have my visa. How many would like to pray for that? Let that be a thought. Let that be your inspiration as we go to these meetings. Remember also our friends in Zimbabwe, we lost a brother called Abednego uh, Mungazi. Uh, the sister was fellowshiping with brother Gerald in uh, Milton Kings. She was there on Sunday, I preached there, I shook her hand, and her husband passed away uh, this week. On Monday or Tuesday, somewhere there, they've actually buried him today. So remember the Mungazi family, and remember Sister Tanya, who lost her husband. She was one of us. She was in Milton Kings with Brother Gerald. Remember them in prayer. Amen. So as we hand over to the minister now, we want to say Abraham's blessings are mine. So our pastor is Pastor Abraham Ogome, Ogome from Nigeria, local Christian assembly, Wari Delta State, Nigeria. Uh, he has been a believer of this message for over 40 years. 
and his pastor in Nigeria. He will minister to us tonight. So just support him with your amen and follow uh, and amen the word. Amen. So as he comes, we'll just sing Abraham's blessings are mine. I'm blessed going in and blessed going out. I'm blessed going. Abraham received a sign of the covenant of circumcision. But our sign tonight is the circumcision of the heart, receiving the Holy Ghost. Receiving the Holy Ghost, the circumcision of the heart. That's our covenant sign tonight. So we want to say Abraham's blessings are man. As our song leader sings for us and our minister comes to preach. Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. Abraham's blessings. bless you. You believe that tonight? That Abraham blessings are yours. Sure is yours because you are a son of God. You are a daughter of God. And Paul said that because we are sons God has not given us the spirit of fear. But he has given us the spirit of adoption. Whereby we cry Abba Father, God richly bless you. Please, you may be seated. What a wonderful people. And what a beautiful church. Pastor John, God bless you. You know, you have seen me for the first time. And you asked me to come and preach. Such a confidence, God will really bless you. So I want to greet the fam- your family, the ministers, elders, deacons, ushers, musicians, song leaders, everybody. I say, God richly bless you. You know, we are such a privileged people that in this terrible day, in these perilous times, when men's heart are failing for fear, God sent us a prophet to restore us back to that same original faith. So we are 11 hour workers, to receive the same pay that the first hour workers receive. Amen. Amen. So you have no reason not to receive the Holy Ghost tonight. Because that's the only ticket you have. It doesn't matter how many years you are being in church. How many years you are being the message. Whether you have read all the sermon books, it makes no difference. But what matter is Peter or Paul asked the question, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? If you have not, tonight is your night. God bless you. So, I'm here with my wife and uh, my son-in-law is there. My daughter couldn't make it tonight because she's not very fine. So, greetings from Nigeria, we are pressing on there by the special grace of God. 
God bless you. Let's bow our head as we pray. Our dear Heavenly Father, Lord God Almighty, King of glory, Lord of Lord, Lord, the one that knows the end from the beginning, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. We say thank you, Lord, for bringing us together one more time. We say thank you, Father. We know where two or three are gathered together in your name, something great is bound to happen. So, Father, may you drop down one more time and, be a, and bless your children tonight. Father, as I speak your word, help me, O oh Lord. No matter how prepared I am, without you, I'll, not, I'll be nothing. Without you, our gathering is in vain. So, Father, we want you to come down and manifest your power. Confirm your word with signs, wonders, and miracles. Father, may no one come here tonight sick and go home sick. May every sick person here be made whole. And let your world come in power and demonstration of the Holy Spirit. That at the end we have every cause to bless and praise and worship your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And we say amen. Okay, if you can, let's stand and read the word. I'm reading from the book of Joel, chapter 1, and Joel, chapter 2. Joel 1, from verse 1. A very familiar scripture. Joel, chapter 1. The word of the Lord that came to Joel, the son of Petwe. Hear this, ye old men, and give ear, all ye inhabitants of the land. Had this been in your days, or even in the days of your fathers? Tell ye your children of it. And let your children tell their children. And their children another generation. That which the palmer worm had left had the locust eaten. And that which the locust had left had the canker worm eaten. And that which the canker worm had left had the caterpillar eaten. The same insect changing from one stage to another stage. The same devil. Amen. So, let's go to chapter 2. All right, from verse 25. And I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar, and the, the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God that has dealt wondrously with you and my people shall never be ashamed. And you shall know that I am the Lord. Somebody say amen. I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God and none else and my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass after war that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. And your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also upon the servants 
and upon the handmaids in those days will I pour out my spirit. And I will show wonders in the heavens and in his head, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and the terrible day of the Lord come. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. And, the, and as the Lord had said, and in the remnant, remnant whom the Lord shall call. May the Lord bless his precious word in Jesus' name. You may be seated. God bless you. So for a little title, I will restore. Are you not happy for that promise? I will restore. Who is going to restore? It's not a pastor. It's not a minister. It's not anybody but the same God who made the promise will restore it back. Now, to restore is to bring it back to where it originally belonged. Is that right? Now, for instance, this handkerchief is my own. But if a brother here, maybe take it from me. And I say, brother, give me the handkerchief. And he said, don't worry, I have a better one. Superior one. And bring it out and give it to me. That is not restoration. That is replacement. But in this case, God said, he will restore you back. Why will he restore you back? Because originally, way back, before there was a heaven, before the devil had any chance to tempt you, before there was a sun, moon, stars, you were with Elohim. And because you were with Elohim, the devil come around and try to rubbish you, try to make you that you are not a son of God, try just like he did the woman at the well. You know that woman has back parts. Way back before the foundation, she was a daughter of God. But she came to this world and messed herself up. She became a harlot. Is that right? That's why she couldn't come to fetch water when other women were coming. She came in when all the good people might have gone. And she came in at that tower. She didn't know that that day was a day of restoration. And she came in to fetch water and here come a man he have never seen before. And the man said, give me water to drink. The woman was surprised. How can a Jew? Originally the Jews looked themselves superior to other race. How can a Jew come so low asking a Samaritan woman to give me water? He said, you a Jew? Asking me to give you water? But Jesus come to break every barrier. It doesn't matter whether you are, you are rich, you are poor, you are small, you are big, you are intellectual, you are illiterate. It makes no difference. The gospel brings everybody together. That you came from God, I came from God, and we are going back to the same place.
Then Jesus said, if you know who is talking to you, even if you don't even know he's talking to you, if you know the gift of God, if you are his daughter of God, you will give me. After all, you were here yesterday, and tomorrow you are coming back, but I have a better water. If I give it to you, you will drink it and thirst no more. That woman became interested. Amen. You see what Paul says somewhere there? My brother, look at your calling. How not many mighty great men are called? And if you go back yourself, how did you believe this message? Maybe you were born, not even a, not in a religious home. And maybe as you are growing up, you begin to go to maybe Roman Catholic Church, Anglican Church, Methodist Church. You are just going just to, you know, just your religious obligation. But one day, something happened. Maybe somebody give you a tract. Maybe your eyes saw one summer book. And that thing, you begin to look at it, say, this thing look real. And when you begin to read it, like myself, what pulled me in was when I read, this day, this scripture is fulfilled. When I read it, I said, no, this is not just ordinary book. I've read Billy Graham book. I've read a robot book. But this one is special. Praise be to God. And the woman became interested. Then Jesus said, now woman, go and call your husband. She said, well, I don't have. Jesus said, if you are well served, you've had five before, you are living with this sixth one. Then the woman said, how can that be? I perceive you to be a prophet. Now you see the difference between a seed of God and the seed of discrepancy? When Jesus discerned the thought of the Pharisees had, what do they say? They say you are visible. But this woman said, I perceive you to be a prophet. And she said, well, we know That the Messiah is coming. And when he comes, we show us all this. Jesus turned around and said, Ah! That is speaking to you now. I am that prophet. The woman didn't have any reservation. She ran to the city and turned the city upside down. Amen. But if you go to John chapter 10, something happened there. The Jews came to Jesus and they asked him, Master, tell us the truth. We, are, we, we don't want to miss heaven. Tell us the truth if you are the Messiah. So that we can follow you also. Jesus said, I've told you and you don't believe. Amen. Even the works that I do in my father's name are enough to convince you Amen. that I am the Messiah. But you believe not because you are not of my sheep. Amen. My sheep hear my voice. And I know them. And I give them eternal life. And no one can pluck them out of my hand. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now, revelation doesn't really come because you read the Bible. No. Revelation don't come because you read sermon book. No. Because the oldest book in the Bible is the book of Job. And Job never read any Bible. Job never went to church. Is that right? 
Cain and Abel never attend any church. They have no pastor to preach to them. But by revelation, by faith, and faith is a revelation, it was revealed to Abel that it was the blood. So thank God for revelation that God has revealed it to you. That's why Jesus said, it is given to you to know the mystery of the kingdom. But to them, thank God for Malachi 4. Somebody say amen. amen. So restoration and redemption it's the same thing. To bring back. And in who is, it, who is this Mechizel the Abraham said, that's always been right. God vindicated it to be the truth. He showed plainly that the predestinated is the only one that is considered a redemption. Is that right? We preach salvation to everybody. We preach redemption to everybody. But we know everybody will not be saved. Jesus didn't come to this world to say, well, let me go and die. So that when the people see the way I'm being crucified, the way they are flogging me, they will pity me and believe what I'm preaching. No! Way back, he had a book. And there are names in that book. Is that right? Abraham told us about the book of life. The book of life and uh, the land book of life. The same book. But there are two sections. The blood section. The natural section. In the natural section, you have everybody there. Cain, Cain and Ahab and Jezebel and the rest of them. But on the blood section, you have only the predestinated. And those are the people he came to redeem. And thank God you are one of them. Can somebody say amen? Now, these four insects called Pamawam. Locust, cankerworm, caterpillar. It's the same insect. Only change from one stage to another stage. Is that right? Just as you see Revelation 6, you see the same uh, uh, horse rider from white to red to black to pale. The same devil. Are you with me? So, it confess as a power one. And what did he do to the tree? That tree is not a mango tree. It's not an orange tree. But a bright tree. The church. The church that was inaugurated on the day of Pentecost. That church was full of power. Full of anointing. Are you with me? Until Ananias and Sapphira could not join them. Because the power was too much. And that same power is back again. I will restore, say the Lord. Praise be to God. That's why that, that day when Peter and John were going to the temple. At the hour of prayer. Praise be to God. Through the gate of beautiful. Because the anointing was so much. Peter saw a cripple there. That might not have been crippled. And the devil vowed that he would have made a cripple. But Peter fastened his eye on him and said, look on us. And the man looked at them, was expecting to get some money. But Peter said, silver and gold have I none, but such as I have, give I unto you in the name of Jesus Christ. Rise up and walk. That is what I'm expecting in these coming weeks. To see the cripple walk again. 
to see blind eyes open again, to see deaf hear again, to see dumb speak again, to see heart cases being taken off, taken care of, cancer will vanish, tumor will vanish. That's what God can do. Say me somebody. So this insect, Papa Wong, what did he do? He ate all the fruits. Have you ever seen a fruitless tree? When you have, or oh, maybe orange at the back of your house, or, or mango, on the hot afternoon, when you see a ripe fruit there, when you take it and lick it, you feel satisfied. And this tree has nine fruits. And the first fruit it ate was love. Love. John said, love ye one another. Are you with me, my brother? Love ye one another. Paul said something here in Romans chapter, chapter 12 or so. Romans 13. He said, Oh, no man anything but to love, verse 8 to 10, but to love one another. For he that loveth another had fulfill the law. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not be a false witness. Thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying. Namely, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love walketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. And the prophet said, when you separate from divine love, you can never overlook your brother's mistake. You know, when there is love between you and your brother, between you and your wife, between you and your husband, eh? and maybe he step on your toes, and trying to say sorry, say don't bother, don't bother, don't bother. Because the love is flowing. Amen. But when that love is no more there, if you step on your toe, your eye will look at her and say, eh? you started again? You're not going to leave me? Because you have separated from the divine part, from the love part. And that's what the power one took away from the church. Took away love. Until brother look at brother and say, you are a serpent seed. Husband will look at wife and say, you are a serpent seed. Because you have separated from brotherly love. Go back to brotherly love. And Paul said, charity never That's what the Pama one did. Took away love. Took away joy. Took away peace. Sometimes you wonder, maybe sometimes you see, even in the same church, you see sister with sister, they cannot see eye to eye. It's the devil. This one will look at that one as a devil. This one will look at that one as a devil. No! Your sister is not a devil. Your brother is not a devil. The devil trying to make her look like a devil. Come and go back to brotherly love. Power one took away peace. Took away joy. All the nine fruits of the spirits were taken away. Long suffering. Patience. All were taken away. Praise be to God. 
And when the devil in power won't finish with the tree, the tree becomes fruitless. And you know, when there is no love, no joy. And when you see a, 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 a man that is angry, an angry man is a violent man. And the power one withdraw and came back as locust. If you have seen a farm that locusts invade, you will see any farm. No, nothing remain again. Because locusts only come to take all the leaves. And the leaves of the tree is the glory of the tree. It's the joy of the tree. That's why David said in Psalm 1, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinner, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. But his delight is in the law of the Lord. And in the law of the Lord he meditates day and night. And he shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruit in his season. His leaves also shall not wither. Are you with me? If you see a tree without leaf, a tree without leaf cannot worship. A tree without leaf cannot praise the Lord. Come on now, church. Praise be to God. That is what the devil did to the church. And by the time the church came to Sadistian church age, and Sadis mean death. When the church came to Sadis, the glory of the church was gone. No joy, no worship, because when the when the when the Pama one uh, locals finished, can can one came in. And can come on, come on at the back of the tree, the doctrine of the tree. And when the doctrine was taken away, he gave them Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Praise be to God. And tell you, it doesn't matter. You can do it any way you want to do it because the back of the tree, the doctrine of the church, have been taken away. One time, a brother wanted to marry. And uh, the father of the sister belongs to uh, a denomination church. And the father is an evangelist in that church. So he actually wants the daughter to wed in his church. So when he was insisting, I said, well, sir, on one condition, you allow the wedding to take place there. He said, what is that? I say, if your priests can join them together in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that will be fine. He said, his priests will do that. Okay. That we should go to the priests. Then we went to meet the priests, one reverend colonel, one big man. And when we presented the matter, he went into his room and came back with a book, twice the Bible. And said that the day he was ordained as a priest, that he vowed to defend what is in that book. And that he cannot do otherwise. If he tried it, he would be sacked. I said, Well, which one is bigger? Is it the Bible or that book? Because the Bible said, whatever you do in words and in deeds, do all in the name of the Lord. So, we are not just preaching what we don't know. We are telling you what God said. For this message, Brother Abraham said, is the presence of God on earth. Amen. If any man walk away from it, it's marked by the power of the devil. So when the canker uh, uh, one finished with the tree, 
then come caterpillar. Caterpillar is a live sucker. When you come to Sadis, the church becomes just a formality. That was the age Luther. That's the, the beginning of restoration. When Luther came, nobody was allowed to read the Bible. The Bible was taken away from people. And they gave them catechism. It's only the priests that were allowed to read the Bible and whatever they tell you is what you take. And Luther was actually studying. He had have a hunger in his heart. He wanted to, he wanted to serve God, not just to be a priest. So when he saw what was going on, he went to his fellow priest and said, sir, but this is what the Bible says. Well, look at what we are doing here. As you say, keep quiet, keep quiet. You can't challenge the authority. Whatever they say is final. No, Luther said no. What they say cannot be final. The Bible is the final. So initially, he thought that what was going on in you know in Germany was just limited to Germany. And he was praying, Lord, give me the opportunity. Let me go to Vatican. Let me go and see his holiness. I will report what is going on in Germany to him. And the opportunity came. And himself and some other priests were sent to Rome. And when Luther got to Rome, Luther said, if there be hair, Vatican is hair. And if there be Antichrist, the Pope is the Antichrist. And he vowed that he would defend the Bible. And he was reminded, remember what happened to John Hoss? Because John Hoss, 100 years before that time, stood against the same thing. But he was not privileged to survive it. He was killed. And they keep on reminding Luther. Remember what happened to John Hoss? Luther said, I don't care. If I have to die, let me die. That's why when he was defending himself for six hours, Luther, he wrote a lot of things. And said, this is why I write this. This is why I they said, no, we are not asking you to tell us whether you write them or not. Are you ready to recant? Luther said, I cannot recant. Because what I said is the scripture. And it is contrary to go against your conscience. And he said, here I stand. I cannot do otherwise. God, help me. And did God help him? Did God help Luther? Surely he will also help you tonight. Amen. Say amen, somebody. Amen. I will restore. Say the Lord. Luther started restoration. After Luther came Wesley. After Wesley came the Pentecostal. The Pentecostal restored the leaves, worship, shouting, praises, but something was still missing. Amen. Brother Abraham said here, the restoration of the bright tree. Paragraph 308. First, it was a palmer one. What did he eat off of God's tree? Someone says the fruit. The next stage, he coming. He died in that stage. And come in another stage, 
What did he do now? He come in this time as a locust. He eat off. He eat all the leaves. That's why you see people come to church. They can sing. They can dance. They can shout. So you know. Somebody say amen. Brother Brian was talking about the lady that went to church one day. And uh, she came in and the usher gave her a seat to sit. And the pastor came behind the pulpit and he was reading the word. And he said, the Lord Jesus Christ came to the earth to save sinners. The sister said, Amen. Everybody were looking at her. See, where did this one come from? The pastor said, I'm, uh, 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 I'm sorry. As I was saying, the Lord Jesus Christ came to the earth to save sinners. The sister said, Amen. He said, Come, sister. We don't do so here. Just quiet and listen to what the pastor will say. Abraham said, I cannot preach until the people shout. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Oh my. He died. What did he do now? He come this time and said, locust. He eat all the leaves of that's the locust habit. Now, what's the next thing he done? He come back in another state as a canker worm. And he went into the back, the doctrine, the teaching. Huh? And said, you don't bother about the Holy Ghost. When you believe, you receive it. No! Because Paul asked a question, have you received the Holy Ghost since you believe? The Holy Ghost is the only evidence that you came from God. The Holy Ghost is the only evidence that you are a son or a daughter of God. Without the Holy Ghost, the prophets say, you are lost. So it's not just coming to church. It's good to come to church. When you come to church, you repent and be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of your sin. Then you press on to receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. Now here it comes as a caterpillar. The first stage of him. Now, as a caterpillar, what is a caterpillar? It's a sucker of life. Sucks the life, the spirit, the life. That's what it does. Get right down, hold the pop, and go to sucking. Caterpillar, here it is. Who we, who we, what are we going to call him? His name is denomination. That's the right name for the for caterpillar. Denomination. Our church don't believe it that way. This is how we believe it in our church. But when you become a Christian, church barrier is not for you. You break every barrier. You are here because God brought you here. Somebody say amen. amen. I will restore. Say the Lord. Amen. amen. What these demons have eaten, I will restore them back to you. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. 
The Bible was saying here yeah, in Christ in the middle of God revealed. You say, you've got tapes on, on that. You've got tapes on what we believe. You've got tapes on discipline in the church. How we behave ourselves in the church. How we come here together and sit in heavenly places. Is that right? Heavenly places. And in Acts chapter 3, or up to 41 and 42, then they that gladly receive uh, 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 received his word were baptized, and the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. And they continued in, in continued steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship and breaking of bread and in prayer. Is that right? Prayer. The prophet says you can read too much, you can even preach too much. But you cannot pray too much. For prayer is the key. How can I be spiritual? Read the word every day. Pray every day. And do you know that many people don't even want to pray? Brother Simon, the one in, uh, 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 that led the, the, uh, 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 the Pentecostal movement, he said, men rather, they rather complain than to pray. It's easier for them to complain. I don't like the way they are doing things here. I don't like it. Instead of going on your knees, pray for your brother, pray for your sister, pray for the ministry. Pray for your pastor. Your prayer can change this. Complaining will never work. Somebody say amen. Oh, ma. Yes, sir. I will restore. Say the Lord. It's restoration time. And thank God for Malachi 4. Amen. William Marion Braham. Our Elijah. Amen. Amen. He came to restore us back to that same apostolic fix. That Pentecostal fix. Before the great and the dreadful day of the Lord. Oh, say amen somebody. Restoration of the bright tree. In here. But in the last days of Malachi 4, Elijah is to come with the very word. The word of the Lord came to the prophets. Now, if you if you if you know this. That the sign of the Messiah were performed twice in the Bible. Genesis 18. Elohim. The son in the thought of Sarah's heart. Because Sarah believed that uh, it can't happen again. At 90 years, how am I going to be? But God said, Sarah, is anything too hard for the Lord? Sometimes you have problem, you think that that problem cannot be solved again. But the question is, is anything too hard for the Lord? It performed the sign of Messiah. Eh? To Sarah, the Jews, 
Then John 4, the woman of Samaria. He performed the sign of the Messiah. But he told her, you've got five husbands before. You have with the sixth one. But nothing was said about the Gentiles. Is that right? But in St. Luke 17, 30, there's a promise for you to know that what you are believing is not fake. It's a promise to you and to me. Now the Son of Man will be revealed again in our day because of you and me. So, Brother Abraham is the seventh angel. Is that true? Yes, he's the seventh angel. But the son of man was veiling him. He wasn't the son of man. He was a son of man. But the son of man veiling him to reveal the son of man. Somebody say amen. That's it. Elijah. The word of the Lord came to the prophet in the evening time. Evening time it shall be light. The light is your comfort. To do what? To restore and bring back. Bring back what? Turn the hearts of the children back to the faith of God. The four lights, four killers, took it. Four messengers destroyed it. Four messengers of death took it away in dogmas. Four messengers of righteousness restored her back again. Can somebody say amen? <laughs> Prophesy, son of man. Can this bone live? Can this bone live? Can this bone live? This bone will not live until you prophesy. If you look at the bone, the bone will remain there. You are the one to prophesy for the bones to live. So don't come to church and fold your hands. And look at the pastor. You have a role to play. You don't come to church to wait for some leader to wake you up. No. And you don't come to church to be sleeping at the pew. The usher, the deacon will be waking, brother. No, 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 no. Come with your fire. When you come with your fire, sleep will not even near you. Sleep will be afraid of you. I hate to see a defeated Christian. People will say, I'm not sure say I'm going to make it. Come on now. You have already made it. Why did Christ die? He died for you to make it. Oh my, let me close. Prophesy, son of man, can this one lead? I wish we had time. I got it wrote down here. But I have to miss that. Prophesy, can this bone live? What are the first stages of that, of that coming forth? Of that church? What are the first stages of Ezekiel dry bone coming forth? But the life only comes. Not when the sinew skin was on them, but when the wind blowed upon them. That's when, when life come back. That first message of life. Amen. I will restore, say the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory. Praise be to God. The fourth light is to come. 
that will bring forth the same signs, the same wonders, the same miracle. Can somebody say amen? Watch justification brought back the pop. Sanctification brought back the back. Doctrine of holiness. What brought back the leaves? Pentecost. What is it? Pentecostals, live, clap your hand, joy, rejoicing, Pentecostal, worship. But that is not enough. Somebody say amen. I said that is not enough. That is not enough. What? The fault was a war. He said, the world made flesh, fruit of the proof of the resurrection. Resurrection sign that Christ has finally after justification has been planted. Sanctification has been planted. Baptism of the Holy Ghost. Organization die out. And Christ has again centered himself like that cap of the pyramid. First line justification, sanctification, baptism of the Holy Ghost, then coming of the cap what is it that Holy Ghost bunch being honed out so that he can fit with the same kind of ministry he had when he went away? Is that right? When he come back, it will catch the whole thing in the rapture. We are the justify, sanctify, and baptism of the Holy Ghost. That pyramid will stand again. The house of God will live again. The tree of life is growing again. Somebody say amen. Every revival lasts for three years. Is that right? Every revival lasts for three years. But this revival, this is a revival of the coming of the Lord. This revival will not die. Praise be to God. This revival will continue until the rapture will take place. Say amen. But you, if you denominate yourself, you will die. But the bride will not die. Why? National force put Israel back to their homeland. National force put in all the churches into the world council of churches. But the power of God is coming upon you. The power of God will put you in the bride. The power of God will quicken you and wake you up one of this money for the trump of God shall stand and the dead in Christ shall rise and we that are alive something is going to happen to you. Do you believe that this evening? Oh, God bless you. As we stand on our feet, Brother Abraham said nations are breaking. Israel's awakening, the sign that the prophet foretold, Gentiles' days numbered, with horrors and combat, return all oh, this past to your own. The day of redemption is near. Men's heart are failing for fear. Be filled with the spirits, your lamp trim and clear. Look up, your redemption is near. Praise be to God, false prophets are lying. God's truth, they are denying that Jesus the Christ is our God. Amen. But we walk where the apostles have trod. For the days of redemption is here. Men's heart are failing for fear. Atoming and everything else. But be filled with a spirit. Your lamp trim and clear. Look up. Your redemption is near. Brother. We are not afraid of anything. You see what is going on in Palestine? Something is taking place there. Praise be to God. And we know Israel is our timepiece. When you see what is going on, you better put on your, 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 your rapture or, or, or jacket. It's time for us to get ready. Praise be to God. Because California is about to sink. And when California is sinking, we are taking our flights. Going back home. Going back to where we come from. God bless you. Shake somebody. Tell somebody God bless you. God be with you till we meet again. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Bless somebody. Say, God bless you. It's about homegoing time. We are getting ready. We are getting ready to take our flight home. Greet somebody with a smile. Say, friend, God is going to restore. God is restoring us back to where we are. We were with Elohim. Before the foundation of the world, Job was asked, where were you? When the sons of God shouted for joy, say, I was there. I was one of those. I bypassed my theophany and came into this body of flesh. I bypassed my glorified body. I bypassed my theophany. I'm in this body of time. Soon and very soon, this corruption shall put on incorruption. This mortal shall put on immortality. Amen. This body is going to be changed. I'm going to have another body not made by hands. Eternal one in the heavens. The one I'm going to live eternity is not this body. This body is terrestrial. I'm going to get a celestial body very soon. Hallelujah. I'm getting ready to go home. I'm getting ready for the rapture. God says, I will restore all the years, the caterpillar, the locust, the kangaroo worm, and the palmer worm is hidden. I will restore. It's not a replacement, restoring you back to your original condition. What we are, God took a photograph of you. He took your photograph of you. The, the original is in heaven. This is just a negative. This is just a negative. I have not really seen you, brother. I don't know you. I shall know you. When we meet in that body, I will know you. I will know Moses. I will know David. I will know Elijah. I will know all the saints of old. Because we are together before the foundation of the world. We will be gathered home. One of these days in the resurrection morning, you don't need anybody to introduce you to St. Paul. You don't need anybody to introduce you to St. John. You will know them because they are your brother. We were together before the world was formed. We were together in the economy of God. We are going back to where we came from. <coughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. How many are getting ready to go home? <coughs> we are tired. We've had COVID. We've got atomic bombs in the hangars. Some of them with nuclear hair warheads with the names of our cities written on them. So it's time to be ready. Amen. <coughs> time to go home. Have you received the Holy Ghost? <coughs> Have you received the Holy Ghost? Since you believe, as we close, we just bow down our heads. <clears throat> Say, Lord, I want the refilling of the Holy Ghost. As we had this meeting, there's war in Israel. <clears throat> there's war with Hamas. There's war in Ukraine. And these are superpowers with atomic bombs, which if any decides, because of a vodka too many, can have serious consequences on the rest of the world. So we want to take this time to just come to the Lord in prayer as we are closing. Maybe you know your situation. Have you received the Holy Ghost since you believed? If you are not sure, just kneel wherever you are or come to the altar. Pray, say, Lord, I want to be ready. I want to walk in Jerusalem. Like Peter and John, I want to be counted among those who will make it in the rapture. Lord, forgive my mistakes, forgive my wrongs, forgive my dilly darling, forgive my slothfulness. I'm a little bit loose on my talking, I'm a little bit loose on my prayer life, I'm a little bit loose on my practicing as a Christian, I'm a little bit loose in my prayer life. I'm not praying as I ought to. I'm not fasting as I ought to. I'm not reading my Bible as I ought to. But Lord, tonight I pray that you may help me. May you send your angel. May you strengthen me. May you anoint me for the job that is set before me. May you anoint me for the rapture. May you anoint me with the Holy Ghost. <coughs> may you anoint me with the genuine Holy Ghost. I want to be 100% sure. I want to be 100% positive. You talk to him in your own words. Speak to him tonight. The word has been preached, and he is here. He said, wherever two or three are gathered, man, and there shall be in their midst. 
The word has been spoken of restoration. God wants to restore you back to where you were before the foundation of the world. God wants to put you in the right frame, in the right character, <coughs> in the right condition where you were, where you were acceptable before him, where you could dance before him, where you could shout for joy before him. When the world was formed, God wants to restore you back to your original condition where you were a son of God, a daughter of God. You came from God and you go back to God. And God wants you to be ready for the takeoff, to meet him and to be with him throughout eternity. So speak to him in your own way. I will also make this uh, pulpit my altar. We make a time of prayer. God wants to hear you pray. He wants to hear you speak to him in your own way. We pray. four messengers of death that came, Lord Goloma, to kill the thing, and you send also four messengers of life, Lord, to restore back the tree, the bride tree, Lord Goloma, it has been restored, and now we are here, Lord Goloma, in this church, in this beautiful church, in the upper room, Lord, we remember in the upper room in Jerusalem, Lord Goloma, there were 120 people, Lord Goloma, there, Lord Goloma, in one place, in one accord, you came and filled them, Lord, the tabernacle was filled with the pillar of fire. The tabernacle was filled with the glory of God. There was a sound of a mighty rushing wind, Lord, that came, Lord God Almighty, and you visited your people once again. Father, I just pray that you may help us also, Lord God Almighty, here. Lord God Almighty, as we are gathered in this upper room, Lord God Almighty, we are expecting a visitation from you. We want to rededicate even this table, tabernacle, Lord, this church, Lord, to God again. This coming week, Lord, we're having a series of meetings, Lord. We are praying, Father, for a divine visitation. We are praying, Father, that you come, Lord God Almighty, and fill each and every vessel. Lord God Almighty, we've been told by your prophet, the beauty of a church is not its chairs, it's not furniture, it's not grand pianos, it's not piped organs, Lord God Almighty, but it's the character of the people that gather there. Lord, we are praying tonight, Lord God Almighty, that you may visit our characters again, Lord God Almighty, and remold us as the potter's house, Lord God Almighty. We want, Lord God Almighty, to be remolded, Lord God Almighty, in the potter's house, Lord God Almighty. Condition, Lord God Almighty, in the inside, Lord. Dealt by the Holy Ghost, touched by the Master's hand again, Lord God Almighty. Remove every unclean spirit. Remove every guile. Remove every unbelief, Lord. Remove every doubt. Remove everything contrary to the word of God. We are praying tonight, Lord God Almighty, that the Holy Ghost come and have the preeminence in the hearts of each and every child, each and every brother, each and every sister, Lord. May we be refilled, may we be rekindled, Lord. May the Holy Ghost, may the seed word of God that has been deposited in us, Lord, be activated, Lord, <coughs> in the name of Jesus Christ. May it be activated, Lord God Almighty. May we become alive again. Oh, Father, may you visit each and every one of us, Lord. May you anoint us with your Holy Ghost, Lord God Almighty. May we be restored, Father, back to the original. Back, Lord God Almighty, to where we are, sons and daughters of God, Lord. Sanctify, Lord God Almighty. Cleanse, Lord God Almighty. Oh, Father, filled with the Holy Ghost, Lord Jesus. We are praying, Father, that you may have your own way. Touch everyone now, first, Lord. Touch us again, Lord God Almighty. We are praying, Father, refill us, Lord, with another baptism. <coughs> a baptism upon baptism, Lord God Almighty. We need this refreshing, Lord, these times of refreshing, Lord God Almighty. <coughs> where the presence of the Lord comes down. Oh, Father, and we bathe in your presence, Lord. And we leave this place anointed. We leave this place, Lord. Commission, Lord, we leave this place, Lord God Almighty. Oh, Father, inspired, Lord God Almighty. Oh, filled with the Holy Ghost, Lord God Almighty. Oh, living instrumentalities of the living God. Oh, Father, tabernacling beauty again, Lord. Tabernacling, Lord God Almighty, the Spirit of God. Where the Spirit of God is just having the preeminence in us, Lord. Leading us and guiding us, Lord, into all truth. And fulfilling your will, Lord God Almighty. And fulfilling the commission, fulfilling the purpose, Lord. You brought us here on this earth, Lord. Doing what you sent us here to be witnesses, Lord. You said you shall be my witnesses, Lord, <coughs> in Judea, in Samaria, and unto the four corners of the world. Lord, 
government in this corner of our world, Lord. We want to be your representatives, Lord. We want to be your ambassadors, Lord. We want to be written epistles of the word of God, Lord. Oh, Father, we want to be representing you in this country. We want to be representing you in this city, Lord, in Doncaster, Lord. We want, Lord God Almighty, oh, Father, to be manifested sons and daughters of God again on this earth, Lord. You said as many as received you, you gave them power to become the children of God. We are praying tonight, Lord God Almighty, that you give each and every one of us power again to become a son and a daughter of God, Lord God Almighty. Oh, Father, representing heaven, representing GAT, Lord God Almighty, representing heaven, Lord God Almighty, representing you, Lord God Almighty, in our neighborhood, Lord, where we live, that we manifest God with a witness, Lord, that we are Jesus Christ is alive in us, Lord, that the living God is living in us, Lord, fulfilling his purpose, fulfilling his will, <coughs> and doing what he promised to do. Father, we thank you tonight. We bless your name, Lord. We love you and appreciate you, Lord. We bless your name tonight. Thank you, Father, for using Pastor Obama to speak to us about restoration, Lord. We thank you for anointing for the service tonight. We thank you for what has been spoken tonight. Oh, Father, you have been speaking to us, Lord God Almighty. And we pray, oh God, that after the speaker has spoken, Lord God Almighty, may you continue to be the after speaker, Lord, as we ruminate over this message, as we meditate on this message, Lord, may we catch fire. May everybody catch fire, Lord God Almighty. May everybody be restored back again, Lord to be a manifest the Son of God, to be an adopted Son of God, Lord, to be a mature Son of God, Lord God Almighty, whom God is happy with, Lord, whom God is happy to entrust the Holy Spirit, whom God is happy to entrust, Lord God Almighty, the quickening power, whom God is happy to entrust, Lord, the power of the spoken word, the third poor ministry, Lord God Almighty. Oh, Father, as we move into the cycle, Lord, we see there's war in Israel, Lord, destroying us, Lord, Time is up for the Gentiles. Our time is up, Lord God Almighty. And his, Israel is being hated of all nations. We do think that is happening in Gaza, Lord God Almighty. The nations of the world, oh God, are hating Israel this time, Lord. And we know it's according to prophecy. It's even fulfilling prophecy, which has been spoken, Lord, that Israel shall be hated of all nations. But Lord God Almighty, Israel is the beloved, Lord, because of election, Lord, because of the right of the firstborn, Lord. Because God says, Israel is my firstborn. Lord God Almighty, God might be firstborn out of Egypt. Israel God's firstborn. And we are the bride, Lord God Almighty. Another church of the firstborn. Father, we thank you tonight. We bless your name, Lord. We love you and appreciate you this evening, Lord. As we prepare, Lord God Almighty, even for the meeting on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Or Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Visit with us, Lord. Meet with each and everyone, Lord God Almighty. Let everybody be refilled, Lord. We are praying for a refilling for everyone, Lord. Those who have not received the Holy Ghost, may they be refilled, Lord God Almighty. May they be touched, Lord God Almighty. May they be visited, Lord God Almighty. May your anointing come down, Lord. May your blessing come down upon your children, Lord God Almighty. Change lives, Lord God Almighty. May your lives be changed for good, Lord God Almighty. May children receive the Holy Ghost. May the new people have been baptized recently, Lord. May they be touched by the mighty master, Lord. May it be such a wonderful time, Lord. May time be a revival, Lord. There are many people coming, Lord, from various quarters, Lord. Our friends all over England and Scotland are visiting with us, Lord. They are visiting this tabernacle next week, Lord. Next weekend, Lord, we are having many believers, Lord, from across the United Kingdom, Lord God Almighty. And we are praying, Father, that it be a special time, Lord. Oh, Father, may you favor us, Lord God Almighty, with your divine unction, Lord God Almighty, with your divine presence, Lord, to touch everyone, Lord, who is going to come from long distances, Lord. And we are praying also, Lord, for our visiting preachers, brother, Pastor Philemon Alote, who is going to start also the ball rolling on Monday, Lord God Almighty, <coughs> brother Robert Champagne on Tuesday and Wednesday, oh, brother Philemon Alote on Thursday, and Pastor Godwin Chichinde, Lord God Almighty, coming. Oh, Father, and all the other local ministers who will be around, Lord. All the singers from the different churches, Lord God Almighty. May it be a time of revival. May it be a time, Lord God Almighty, of a special blessing, Lord God Almighty. And I pray, oh, Father, that we may strengthen this church, strengthen every member here, strengthen every believer. 
Receive healing with the Holy Ghost, Lord. May everybody be sent. May everybody be recharged, Lord, spiritually speaking, Lord. Oh, Father, may we see many people being baptized, Lord. Even after the week of meetings, Lord, may we see many people receive Jesus Christ. Even for the first time, even the local people here. We have been standing on the door of this church, Lord, witnessing, Lord, testifying, passing out tracts to the inhabitants of this city. Lord God Almighty, we have given out many tracts, Lord, hundreds, thousands of tracts, Lord. And I pray, oh God, Father, that may be the after speaker, even as you continue giving, even as you continue witnessing, Lord God Almighty, may you bring many, many more people to you. Father, we want to thank you and appreciate you, Lord. We pray for the cleansing of this church tomorrow, Lord, as people will be coming to gather, coming to clean, making ready for the revival, making ready for the special meetings, Lord. May this church be clean inside and outside, Lord. And Father, may you come and cleanse, oh, Father, the inside of the people, Lord, the characters of the people. Oh, Father, as you say it again and again, Lord, the beauty of a church is not just a uh, furniture, Lord, or the building is the character of the people. Mold us, Lord, cleanse us, visit us, Lord, and sweep over our souls. Lord God, we want to thank you and appreciate you, Lord. We bless your name, Lord. We love you. We appreciate you this evening, Lord. Have thy own way, Lord, as your children will be going home. Go with them, Lord. Keep them as of your will. Bring us again on Sunday for service, Lord. Visit with us, Lord. Visit us in the homes as we drive, Lord. Go with us, Lord. Speak to us, Lord Jesus. May you meet with us. May your anointing be upon us, Lord, and keep us, Lord, under the anointing. Oh, Father, we know the prophet says, Lord, many people miss the blessing of the Lord. God can come with a blessing, can visit. But if people are not prayed up, Lord God, may they miss the blessing of God. If people are not prayed up, they miss the blessing of God. Father, we are praying that you may help us, that we be in prayer all the time, Lord. We be in prayer at home, we be in prayer wherever we are. That when God visits, when you come, Lord God Almighty, we don't miss the blessing. Even tonight, we thank you, Lord, for speaking to us as you have done, Lord. We give praise, we give honor to your name, Lord. We love you and appreciate you and bless your name. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray with your children and with your children and all, Lord. Be with those with the streaming, be with them wherever they are. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray. Sweep over my soul, sweep over my soul, sweet spirit, sweep over my soul, my rest is complete. While I sit at your feet, sweet spirit, sweep over my soul, sweep over my soul, sweet. Pastor Ogobe to pray for you as we close the meeting that God may sweep over your soul and restore to you restore to you what the kangawema, the palmawem, the locusts has eaten in you as a bright tree as an individual that God may restore to you whatever you have lost that it be restored as pastor to pray for you Pastor Ogobe Let's, let's bow our heads. Our precious Heavenly Father, Lord, the unknowing God, the all sufficient God, the all powerful God, we bow once again before you.
You are the only one that can make something out of nothing. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God, come down one more time. Amen. Baptize your children with the baptism of the Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, you told us if that same spirit that raised Christ from the dead dwell in us, it shall quicken our mother body. Quicken your children tonight. Touch everyone that is sick, spiritually sick, physically sick. Touch them tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, even our brothers and sisters that are not here tonight, may the same, the same prayer for them, O oh God. May you touch them also. Father, we commit our pastor into your hand. Lord, may you give him strength. Prepare him ready for this coming week, O oh Lord. Oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we are looking forward to see great and mighty things, Lord. We are looking forward for, to see a great revival, Lord. Granted, tonight is our prayer. Even as we are about to go, we commit our going into your hand. May you grant us journey mercy and grant, give us sweet night rest that all the glory and honor will be thine and the blessings will be ours. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you. How many have been blessed tonight? Amen. Thank you, Pastor Gome. God bless you. Amen. Thank you for that message tonight. Amen. Amen. You pray for him. He'll be ministering together again on Sunday. You'll be speaking to us again on Sunday. Amen. That was a wonderful thought. We don't mind if you want to continue on that thought. It's very good. But whatever the Lord puts upon his heart, but it was very nice. We're a bit short of time, but I'm sure you heard what was spoken. Amen. God wants to restore. There are four death messengers who came to destroy the bright tree, but there are again four who messengers who came to restore, and we are being restored. Amen. Each one of us is being restored. Amen. God bless you. Uh, we also want to just remind you we of the meetings next week. If you have time, please try to be here Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so that you have full benefit. Amen. And uh, if anybody, we are having a few people coming, particularly the Friday and Saturday. If anybody has got any room in their homes to accommodate some people so that they don't have to go in a hotel, those who want to come on Friday, and to be with us on Saturday and Sunday. If there is any, please uh, let the deacon know, let Brother Bofu know. Uh, there's one family already who has said, oh, brother, we have got a house. Uh, we have a three-bedroom house, which is free. That week, Friday, Saturday, if anybody wants to stay, they can stay there free of charge. So I think a few people who want to visit some, they don't know, have money to go and stay in the hotels, they may appreciate if there is room. If any has got room, please let us know how many you can take then. We have people from Norway coming. We've got people from Belgium coming. And we have a few others from other cities who might want to stay over for the weekend. So if you have any room, please let us know how many people you can take in your house. Amen. God bless you. We we'll ask uh, to sing, take the name of maybe Brother Bob can help us sing, take the name of Jesus with us, with you as we go home. Uh, we just uh, come again tomorrow for the cleaning and then Sunday we are here from Sunday to Sunday Sunday to Sunday we'll be having service uh, the trustees were asking maybe from Monday to Friday maybe we'll leave the first three rows for the visiting ministers on this but we have already a lot of space here and everywhere but maybe we may leave the first three rows just for the visitors or the guests of honor that come some of the ministers maybe we leave them if they want to sit on the first three rows on both sides at the front here. But you are free if you want to come closer. All these chairs will be very good for people to come very close here. These ones, these ones. Then we let the latecomers sit on the back. But those who come early will very much like if we leave the first three rows to the visiting ministers and their wives. Then uh, the uh, local people, if you come early, when we have the meetings, we fill these uh, ones so that will be not too far so that the ministers will be preaching they won't have to have so many people back but they will be nearby amen god bless you and so we leave also the altar for those who want to come and pray 
or sing or dance, they will be at the front here. And the ministers will be very close, but the pastors will be able to pray for people right from uh, at the center here. God bless you. We will sing the closing song, Brother Bafu, and then we go and we meet again on Sunday. Take the name of Jesus with you, child of sorrow and of Just me.